Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShot.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Uh, about a year ago, I created a laser security system with combination lock and a couple other features that actually won me <coughs> a, uh, a prize on Instructables.com. This bad boy right here. I'll give you a better look at that in a second. So I've turned that into a kit. I've optimized hardware and software. Uh, let me just walk you through it before I give you a demonstration. Uh, obviously, if you don't care, you just want to see the demonstration, you can skip ahead. What it'll come with, the kit, once I have it fully integrated in an assembly video, it'll come with everything, everything included here, uh, an assembly video, uh, a siren, which is extremely loud, and a 9-volt adapter that'll plug into your input terminal block. Now, the laser is right here. It actually is glued to the back of the PCB, right in the bottom there. Um, I've just made a makeshift wood fixture for it. There are mounting holes, however, in my haste, uh, I was too eager to make a video to show it off, and I didn't have the proper mounting hardware. It won't come with mounting hardware. You'll have to get, you'll have to use your own ingenuity there. Uh, and as I've mentioned before, I'm an electronics guy. I'm not a mechanical guy, so uh, I've glued the, the device down to the board. The Siren actually has a, uh, a double-sided tape set on the back, so you can just stick it on. Uh, it also has two mounting holes if you want to use that. Now, the 9-volt adapter will pl pl uh, wires will plug in here. Anyway, so let me walk you through quickly. So, there's a keypad, uh, there's a, the siren, the relay here activates the siren, there's a laser, and there's an LDR here, microcontroller, 5-volt regulator, 3-volt regulator for the laser. Now, when you turn it on, nothing happens right away, and this is actually so that you can you can actually do a test. Now, the laser won't be on, but what you want to do is mount this with a mirror from across the room or a few meters away, and you take the, one of the jumpers that's included and you place it on the laser and laser EN, which is uh, laser enable. And so that activates the laser. So you can actually use a mirror to bounce the laser back and, and line it up with the LDR. Now, it's not a pinpoint laser, which is actually pretty good. It helps you out. The beam is about that big. Uh, and uh, so once you have everything mounted, you've got, you've made it so that the laser is bounced back directly onto the LDR. You can take this off, and uh, now we're going to go into normal operation mode. Now the combination lock uh, has two functions. On power on, if you place a uh, a jumper here, it places in a default combination mode, which I believe I believe is 10 10 10 7 or 10 10 10 9. I have to double check that. Uh, but if you have the jumper off on power on, you program in your own code. So first of all, on power on, I'm going to program my own code. I'm going to put place, I'm going to make it uh, 1, 1, 1, 2. And so you'll see the indicator light up as you're programming in your own code. And then the accept LED flashes, the green LED flashes. So now, nothing happens. What you have to do is you have to press the switch one button to enable uh, lights out mode. Now, lights out mode, uh, what it does is it waits. Once I press the S1 button, the accept button will flash again. And now it will wait, the device will wait for the lights to turn out. Now, I'm actually going to turn out the lights right now. And it's not going to do anything because it's the laser is not lined up with the LDR. But the laser activates, first of all, once the uh, lights are turned out. Now you'll notice that the red LED flashed a few times, and that's because the subroutine there did not, did not detect the laser uh, on the LDR. So what, I'm gonna, so what would happen there is, if it did accept it, you'd hear a beep, and the accept would flash, and then it would be in scanning mode. At which point, the only way to deactivate it would be to hold the S1 button again. Otherwise, if you broke the laser, the siren would go off. And it would go off until you entered in the combination that you entered in to start with. Or in the case of the default combination mode, 10-10-10-9 uh, or 10-10-10-7. I forget which one. I have to double check that. Um, and then from there, it basically resets into the mode where you have to press... The code will stay the same for the combination lock, but you have to press... S1 again to uh, to active go into into lights out mode. Again, if it's accepted, if if the laser's turned on, it's hitting the LDR. The LDR notices that, then it will go into scanning mode and it will either scan for you to press S1 to deactivate uh, or a breach of the laser, in which case you have to enter in your combination to turn it off. 
So let me give you a demonstration. Before I give you the demonstration, I just wanted to show you off what actually won me the uh, the award. And as you can see, I've optimized it with, for space and hardware. I've completely gotten rid of the combination lock chip and just used a single processor. There's no operational amplifier, no need for a heat sink supply, and I use a better uh, siren. It doesn't flash, but it's louder than the siren and it sounds cooler. So now I'll give you the demonstration. So right now I've got the laser lined up. There's a big beam on it. I'm going to press the S1 button to put it into, uh, or first of all, I'm going to take off this jumper. And I'm going to press the S1 button, which will place us in lights out mode. So I'm going to get back. What I'm going to do is, after I set off the alarm, I'm going to turn the light back on. It's going to get really loud. I might have to uh, bump the camera, but hopefully not. Uh, but I'm going to have to turn the lights back on after I breach the laser, uh, just so I can enter in the combination to deactivate it. So let's turn off the lights. So you hear that beep? Okay, so what I'm going that beep says, okay, laser is detected. And now I'm going to breach the laser. It's very sensitive and I'm going to turn the lights and deactivate it. Whew. So I don't know how loud that sounds at your end. At this end, it's very loud. I'm sure I uh, irked the neighbors. So now it's back in uh, ready mode. Ready mode meaning I press S1, it places us in the light sensing mode, or sorry, lights out mode. Once the uh, laser detects the, uh, or once the LDR detects the laser, it will go into scanning mode again. If I want to, uh, if I want to do this again, what I'm going to do is press S1, lights out mode, and I'm going to try to deactivate it in the dark by pressing S1 while the laser is pointed at it. So that's one thing you can do is you can turn the light back on uh, because there's so much light on the laser. However, still, even if the lights are on and I breach it, it should still set off the alarm. Uh, I'm actually tempted to try that, but I will try it. First, I will try to, to uh, press S1. You have to be careful. I bounced it around. This isn't mounted very well, so you have to mount it very steadily. So that's, that's my bad. But as you saw, even in the light, it uh, it's still activated. Very, very sensitive. So proper mounting, making sure that it's steady. You won't have that problem if after it's it's scanning, all you have to do is press S1 to deactivate it. So I'm going to tweak the software, and I'm going to put together a bunch of these kits. I'll probably still sell it assembled, but more likely I'll be selling these in kit form. I know there's a few people on Instructables who have been asking me for it, so I've been really wanting to put it on a PCB for a long time. And I spent it all afternoon optimizing the software. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, visit us at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com today. Got tons of new kits. I made videos for them in the last week, but I haven't gotten around to integrating them on the website yet. I have to make the assembly videos. So I imagine this one will be up within two weeks. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show it off. I had a lot of fun building this. And uh, thanks everyone for watching. I really appreciate it.